All right, for today, I know for sure that I'm going to have a huge smile on my face while reacting to today's video. I am talking about a performance by Darren Espanto, okay, my Canadian comrade, but also Filipino, of course, this tall, handsome uh, Filipino slash Canadian men now you know he's a man which is insane to say you know he has his own concert he's had his own concert called D10 and I know that you guys wanted me to actually attend the concert but I was already gone the concert took place in June beginning of June I believe the first of June or something like that and I left on the 24th of May but Worry not, Darren Espanto is still very young. I am sure that he will be having multiple concerts in the future that I will be able to attend because like I said, I'm planning to go to the Philippines and stay there for a while. Who knows, maybe I will move permanently to the Philippines. It's a possibility, okay? So we will see. But he is not alone, he is joined by the all grown up like uh, uh, Gairanod, like uh, Gairanod. I must have reacted to her, whew, I don't know how many times, but she is basically another version of Casey Tandingan. But I feel like Laika is perhaps a stronger belter than uh, Casey Tandingan. So just these two reuniting, because if I'm not mistaken, they were both on The Voice Kids, right? So both of them reuniting like this as grown-ups on a concert stage, it's something. That's why I keep saying, or I'm saying, that I'm going to have a huge smile on my face. I am so pumped. Uh, but before we start, Maliga Young, Pagababalik sa akin channel. Ako po si Ovela. I'm a sound engineer, beat maker, and content creator on YouTube. And without further ado, let's check it out. It's Gairanod. It's not Gairanod. It's Gairanod. Okay. Oh my god. Look at the height difference. He is so tall. And you know, I'm still a little, not pissed, I'm just a little disappointed that when I was part of the audience of his Showtime that Darren Spanto wasn't there because I believe at the time he was in Europe because you guys know that he is a host on his Showtime, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love her voice, really do. Hey, look at that! Oh my god, see? That's what I'm talking about. They were babies. My babies have become adults, just like the TNT boys. They were my kids, my chipmunks, and now they are adults. It's insane. Oh, look at the memories. She was like this.
You can be assured that if I attended this concert and that I was allowed to bring my camera to film, I would have filmed the entire thing for you guys. That is for sure. Just like uh, that's exactly what I did when I attended Marcelito Pomoy's concert here in uh, Montreal. And when I attended um, SB19's Paktatag finale concert, I couldn't film all of it because I only had my phone, but I still filmed a lot and I will be sharing it on this channel. That part sounded like around the bee. Laika Gairanod is like a mix between Casey Taningan and Ricey. Do you guys remember Ricey? You know, she's she's wonderful. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to react to one of her uh, duets with uh, Michael Pangilina. So yeah, she's a mix between Ricey and Laika uh, Casey Taningan. The spotlight is on him now. She took a step back. Damn, what a deep voice. Where are the backup vocalists? I can't see them. Okay, so this performance starts with uh, Laika's solo and then Darren's solo and then I'm pretty sure they're gonna join forces and finish together in a nice duet. Is there a reason why there is uh, a moon on top of them? I mean, I would have understood if uh, it was Juan Carlos Labajo on stage singing Buan, you know, but in this case, I'm not sure why there is a moon displayed on top of them. Where are the backup vocalists? I want to see them. Let's go. Woo, so much power. Wow, wow, okay girl. I 
I was wondering if Darren Espanto was going to be able to match her power and her energy. And so far, he's getting there. Not yet, but he's getting there, you know? I need him to give us like a strong belt. Key change. Oh, the backup vocalist there on the left. Man, Filipinos love to do this and I'm still not used to it. After eight years of reacting to uh, OPM, I'm still not used to it. And what I'm talking about here is two Filipinos belting but not singing the exact same words, right? It's like each person singing different words but harmonizing together. I'm still not used to it. I'm sorry but like my ears just like they can't focus on the two. <laughs> Hey, my gosh, she's so tiny next to him. Guy Ranon! Yeah. This means so much to me sharing the stage with you. It will always be a pleasure. It's a great day. 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 I'm very proud of all of your achievements. Yeah. It's a great day. It's a great day. It's a great day. It's a great Thank you so much, Lex. Ayan, 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 super happy ko, and of course, uh, super thankful ka din na sinama mo rin ako dito sa journey mo. And also, talagang uh, alam ko at alam natin kung saan tayo nagsimula at uh, kasama talaga tayo sa mga journey natin. And uh, syempre sa mga achievements mo, super uh, happy kami. And uh, sa lahat ng mga supporters mo dito, ayan, super happy sila sa'yo. And proud kami Aww. sa'yo. Ayan, congratulations. So sweet. They're happy for each other. Love it. Again, give it up for Laika Gairano, everyone. Let's go. Yes. She's, oh, she's one of the best. See? I forget about her. I tend to forget about her when people ask me who are like your top five, top ten like singers in the Philippines. She should have a spot in my top ten because I actually already kind of replaced her with the other Laika, Laika Estrella, you know. But Laika Gaira, Gairanod, Gairanod, Gairanod uh, is as, I mean, she, I don't think she's as uh, as strong as like Estrella when it comes to belting, but she has other strengths, you know, like the the vocal texture, the uh, the depth of her voice. Uh, she can also really belt. It's just it's different, but I love her. I love her. So I I tend to forget about her because. I don't know. I don't know why. I think it's because I discovered her later than the other Filipino artists, you know. But yeah, I have a big spot uh, in my heart for uh, for Laika and of course for Darren Espanto. Yo, <laughs> I think he's the the first artist that I have uh, reacted to on this channel.
chandelier, right? I think he performed chandelier on the wish bus. What? It's crazy. But yeah, who knows? Who knows? When I go back to the Philippines, perhaps I'll be able to to meet Darren Espanto, you know? I don't know if I'll go back to sh it's showtime. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> but uh, I'd love to attend uh, ASAP Natinto as an audience member, you know, to, uh, to, to witness all the artists that I've been reacting to for years all sing. And hopefully that day, the queen will attend, you know, will perform as well, hopefully. And when I say the queen, you know who I'm talking about, okay? Don't make me, don't make me say her name, please. Her name starts with an R. <laughs> okay, this was lovely. This was lovely. It wasn't perfect. Uh, honestly, it wasn't perfect. Plus, the audio quality wasn't the best. And I feel like it was enjoyable. But I feel like I, it would have been best or better for me if they had sang a song that I was very familiar with. You know what I'm saying? And I would have preferred them to, to harmonize and sing together the same words. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but still, it's so nice to see them all grown up here, enjoying singing together, enjoying their company and being happy for each other for all their success, their respective success. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you so much for joining me as usual. And if you found value in this video, do not hesitate to check out my other reaction videos right here.